Lydia. That sound. Dragon. It's close. Close enough that we can hear it. Gods. I do not feel prepared for such an act. Although we may have no choice but to face the creature. I'm... I'm glad to have you by my side. But I would not have you needlessly waste your life in this battle. But if things look like they are going to get bad... Run. Do not do anything foolish. I beg of you. All right. Let us be on our way. Quietly now. Any advantage we can get on it. No easy way down. Watch your footing. <clears throat> Closely now. We seem to have come out on the other side. At least further around the mountain. Mm. Banner. Ah. God. It sounds close. It would be foolish for us to combat such a beast out in the open. We should make for the runes. Might be our only chance. Quickly now. You can only pray that the horses stay in place. have no sight of the creature. It's certainly up here. Perhaps it was slumbering during the storm. And now it hungers. Whatever happens, Lydia, it has been a pleasure. God, where are you, creature? Seems to be calling from up high. Seems the path leads higher up the mountain. The dragon sounds to be just beyond the ridge. Mm. Ah, I've spied it. Behind the trees. I can only hope. If I lose control, couldn't live with myself. Not if anything happened to Lydia. Last thing we need. Nicely done. Thing throws my boots solid. Seems to be the only one here. Peculiar. Could a necromancer found them place among these hills? Let's 
spot in sight of us. Quickly now. Back to the ruins. Now! Gods. Beast. All right, then. Hold. Ice. Now! Strike it! It bleeds. And if it bleeds, well... Leave her be. What? Lydia! Tread. Right then. It's weakening! Strike it, Lydia! will be sung of this day. We did it. Together. I couldn't have done it without you, Lydia. Fine swordsmanship. And bravery. Drink as many potions as you need. I know I will certainly need a few. Yes. I feel it. It's power. I feel its very life force course through my veins. The power, the strength, the knowledge. It's all there, as if it's a part of me now. I can do this. Its strength is my strength. We can do this, Lydia. It is possible. These creatures are not immortal. They can be defeated. Through grit and determination, this smoking ruin of a creature stands as an example. Listen to all of those, that these beasts can be defeated, and Skyrim can prevail. Let's see. Its bones weigh gold in its belly. How am I not surprised? <clears throat> the 
Leave the rest here for the wolves to chew on. The creature was circling that mountain. And perhaps it is worth investigating. I do not know how these creatures breed. They are like other lizards. There could be eggs. We need to make sure these creatures do not return. You are feeling up for the climb. Mm, good. Still cannot believe we did it. Such a feat. Now the hills are steep. Drat. <clears throat> Perhaps too steep. Another way. The winds run high. <clears throat> Watch yourself, Lydia. will be lowering. There must be another way. Perhaps this is a lost cause. It's <clears throat> not just yet. That does not seem to hold for long in Skyrim. Still, my destination is past these hills. <laughs> if I can find a way round the pass. And the horses are safe for now at least. Alas. It appears to be no easy way to the top. It does seem to be some kind of structure, however. Hmm. Perhaps another way. Yes. Perhaps there is a way around. is bad down here. Creatures spat ice. Ice of all things. It seems they have a variation in their species. The dragon I fought in Whiterun it was different. Coloration. Everything in its manner. Dress, where is that girl? Mm, Lydia. Not far, I hope. Darn fires out. Hoping to take a moment. Alas, should continue. Perhaps she's already done by the horses. Hmm. At least the weather is calm here. Better to be off those mountains. Ah. 
All right. Mount up. We need to be on our way. There is a structure of some kind on top of this mountain. There's no easy way to access it. Perhaps from the other side. That is where our destination lies, nonetheless. All right. Ah. Good boy. Thank you for waiting, Banner. <clears throat> hmm. Couldn't wait for it to come to her, I see. All right. Ride out. I can only hope there is a way around. One that is not too difficult for our horses to skirt. The sun is getting lower. Could become a problem. Lydia, turn. Go. Now. Back. Let's not be facing any cats today. Good. And I believe a return to the road is in order. The light is failing. If we head back, we should be able to find the pass to lead us through this mountain. It might be our only good shot. We're going to have to cross the river. Don't mind me a little wet, do we? Alright, nice and easy. There we go. Certainly hoping to find somewhere better to stay for the night. Might have to be under the stars. Mm. The road does not improve. We're going to have to ford once more. No dinner is close by if we need it. I would hope to make it through the mountain pass before the sun sets. Mm. White Run is not far. Mm. The path must be close. One would hope. Full of life. Mm. Lone wagon. Mm. Rat, quickly dismount. <sighs> Skeletons. <clears throat> Nothing we can't handle, Lady Lydia. Nicely done. Behind. yourself. A shrine of some kind. No one but the dead seems to claim it. Graves. Someone has been raising them. Peculiar flower. I wouldn't touch it if I was you. 
in colour. It's most likely poisonous. Mm, Droga. Tough fellow. Well done. I suppose that's what the poor sod was protecting. Fear some battle axe. No harm in looking. Although the lock does seem quite complex. Perhaps it's beyond me. Still. Drat. Complex indeed. Trot. Not seeing any easy way through this. Sacrificing far too many picks. have found a weak spot. It's very small, however. Ha! Ah. That's it. Gods. Some ornate boots indeed. Strong sword. I do not condone stealing from the dead. Trade, perhaps. <laughs> they have some weight to them. Design is beautiful. Hmm. Those skeletons will not have arisen by any natural means. Imagine it's only a matter of time until another comes. At least I know I'll put these to good use. Let's see. There. One for one. Fair. In the moment. There we are. Hmm. I wonder what causes them to rise. For their spirits to remain bound in their bodies. It's not a fate I would be fond of. Mm. Back to the horses. This cannot be the pass. I'm sure it was it. Perhaps not. Mm, banner. There you are. I apologize for all the noise. Did not mean to startle you. All right, friend. Must be away through these hills. Surely it is close. I must be missing something. I do not see the pass. 
Unless it is hidden. No. Then if traders travel it, it must be close. It would have to be wide enough for their carts. Mm, it does not seem to deviate, however. No. There's a smaller path off to the side. I see no easy way around. Perhaps it might have to be the long way, Lydia. Mm. Don't let them nip you. Oh, something of a gap. And we'll have to take it. Mm. I tire as well. We should push on, however. Sure, there will be somewhere safe to see. Somewhat safe, at least. Oh, good. It's looking somewhat more promising. Hmm. A similar room that was atop the hill. Beautiful structures. Your people are impressive architects. Especially for the times in which these were constructed. Lydia. Yes, I see it. Ready yourself. This will not be an easy fight. But to get through the pass, we must prevail. I have his attention quickly now. <clears throat> Nicely done. Fearsome oath. A moment. I must return for banner. A few good swings. Nothing hearty soup won't fix a banner. I'd really be glad this armor held. All right, mount up. There could be more of the creatures. Hmm, drat. It seems that's the case. Hmm. Seems they may have claimed one already. <clears throat> this is a beautiful land. I should take every moment I can to enjoy your home. I never know when it might be my last glance. Hmm. Urns of some kind. Yes. Burial ones. Where did that creature go? Quietly now. Imagine it's already caught our scent. Mm. All right. And the horses will be safe up high. There it is. It seems to be by itself, as far as I can tell. We can only hope that is the case. If there's more than one. We need to split up, fight them individually. That is the only one. I'll get its attention. You attack it from behind. I'll try and keep its... attacks my way. 
Leave you free to strike. Hmm. All right. With me now. <coughs> this way. Me, not her. Are you right? God. Girl, I'm sorry, Lydia. I took a few good swings at you for sure. Just bruising? more to this ruin than I would have imagined. Be sure to drink up. There could be more. And the sun is leaving us. Mm. Be at the ready. Last thing we need. Yes, I know. Gods striking right on top of us. I think we should err on the side of caution. Maybe the weather has made its mind up for us. What is this shrine? Face. I recognize that face. Gods. It's made from wood. How can this still be blood? Let's see. A note. It seemed like an easy enough job. Gods and me had done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wants bodyguards for a trip into the mountains. Fine. Easy clink for us. He goes on about this twice-forsaken mask. Of his the whole way. Got a pretty good laugh when Grawls snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Not smart out here on your own, he realized that. Right fast and shut up about not paying. So we get here. He thumbs through some papers and mutters to himself. Never, never you mind that. Me and Gross had to cut through ten stinking trolls just to get him here. Without so much as warning, poof, he puts on that mask and vanished. Could have put my hands on his throat one moment. The next he's not so much as thin air. Hmm. Well, after a while, we didn't know what to do. So Gross picks her gear up and heads home. And poof, back, the mask in hand, begs us not to leave, says he needs us to wait. This is what he's paying for, then puts the mask back on his sorry face, and he's gone again. I'd seen cloaks do invisibility before, but few swings of my fist proves that he wasn't pulling that one. Nothing there to hit. He shows up again, tells us he needs more time, has to figure out something about other masks. Vanishes again. That was yesterday. And I'm done with twiddling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving, come sunrise. If he shows up again, I promise Azura, I'm putting this dagger through his chest to keep him in one place. We'll pull more loot off him, dead. Then he could have paid us alive, but not the mask. That cursed thing can stay and rot with him. And the trolls right here. Lydia, this mask. I have one very much like it. The gods won't let up on us today, will they? Hmm.
particular shrine indeed. Hmm. This might explain why so many have been unwilling to take my mask off my hands. I fought a priest, if you could call it that. A shadow. It was strong. Luckily, I had a, a mage who knew a thing or two about burning things. She did him right. I got lucky and came away with his mask. A man has already cursed. What harm could it do? A moment. And for what this note says is any slither of truth. Uh, something odd might happen. I need for you to wait for me here. My thanks. There goes nothing. Hmm. Still have the thing's cloak as well. This is not made out of wood, however. Some kind of metal and cloth. The mask seems to hum somehow. Alright. What happened? Lydia? I'm still here. I'm still intact. And the thunder is gone. Replaced by the sun. But how? How is any of this possible? I still have my blade by my side. It's all reeks of troll blood. Is this real? Or a dream? In Dawnstar, I walked a dream. It was just as real as waking life. Mm, nothing. They all seem to be empty. All of it. But there's still the shrine. There's an inscription on each of them. Ota Morokai Vokun. Yes, the mask belonged to him. There seems to be a hollow. Let's see. Fits right in place. Perhaps there are others. Could there be eight such as him? They're surrounded by dragon heads. Servants of some kind. Perhaps they try into this greater threat. Perhaps they are behind it. It's hard for one to know with such little information. This door won't budge. This is some other plane. Perhaps the limit of it. Lydia must be concerned I should return. Perhaps if I remove the mask. Ah. Ah. 
Lydia. Lydia! Oh. You frighten me for a moment there. I see the weather has not improved down here. I... I was somewhere completely different. Separate. In this room, but not. It was a different time. I would do well to leave this mask here. But it is light. Perhaps I can keep it in my bag. Safety sink. There's dragons. I have a theory. It's not yet fully thought out, however. But my theory for now is that we need to get out of this darn storm. Hmm. We might have to make a sprint. Could be the only way to make it across the courtyard. The horses will be fine, but we won't. Not with all this metal. The gods seem to be awfully fond of us. Alright. With me now. Now I see an entrance of some kind. Hmm. Another. Quickly. It matters not where we go. We must get out of this. Unusual. Mm, the structure is empty. Lydia! the place is warm. Could be a place to stay. I hear movement. Hold, Lydia. It has not reacted to us. Why? Stay, O Blade. does not seem to be reacting to us. But why? Every Drogo I've seen so far has tried to kill us on sight. Their eyes follow. She's aware. Hello. A subject approaches. No, you must not look at me. Not like this. Subject. You are... You are different. Mm. Stay where you are, Lydia. My lady, you need not turn away. You... You are as radiant as ever, of course. He who plants kind words grows a garden of friendship. And every day it becomes stronger. Every day a new spring. It has been a long time since I met one who saw past this 
husk of rags and bones to the queen whose soul remains captive inside. Queen? For I am Queen Irel, the dead Queen Irel of Murith. Irel. Merith. I have not heard of this land. What land is that? It is surely not in Skyrim. Do you mean to mock me, stranger? No, no, no. Surely you know the name of the land we stand on. Murath, settled by the descendants of the first men. Or has history erased all that I am? as punishment for my deeds. The Merithic era. The first man. That era passed long, long ago. Irel, how are you still alive? I am a Draugr. Draugr servants such as myself are despised for our loyalties as we are thought to have betrayed man to aid the dragons. Mm. Neither tone nor song will sing my praises, if they sing for me at all. For the dead can suffer no greater wound, no harsher penalty than the hollows of empty silence. <sighs> How did you become a droger? What exactly did you do about it then? What I did, I did for my people, so that history would not stain their hands in blood. I sought the old allegiances, the power of the Dovra. Alone, Dovra. Guarded, I stole away to the lair of the Frost Dragon Cording House, perched atop a spire of stone on a snow capped hill. Codinus. I gave myself into his service for a boon to imbue a myrrh with the powers of frost to give their people a chance to survive. Unfortunately for yourself, seeing that history is written by the victors, Isgrimor's triumph is celebrated by all. So, who was this Myrrh the Frost Dragon lent his powers to? He was the Prince of Solstheim, and he was granted the power of ice and snow. There on that island to the east is what remained of the Snow Elf people, and where they would make their final stand. Imbued with a new strength, the Prince rode into the Battle of the Mosring where Iskrimor's armies marched through a field of crimson snow. They say he rode in on a horse of pure white, his armor and spear a beacon of hope in the dark terror of war. Mm. Pure white, camouflaged in the snow, invisible almost. What happened next? He swept through the needs like a violent gale, felling them one by one in a storm of spears. Many great warriors died by his hand, and thus it was the cruelest irony for him to be slain by a child. 
She was a squire, a girl, mad with fury and grief for her mother, but still just a girl. So say the tales, but who knows how much is truth? What I do know is my pact with Cordin House remained, for I am a Draugr, bound to serve even as my master is dead. That explains you are the Draugrs. Their servants. They're bound to the dragons. Their souls brought back. I'm sending away for them to find rest. Boo for me to complete my deed. There must be some record of your previous existence. I have not found or read any. All that remains of who I am, my beauty, my fears, my heart, lies in this caricature of a human being. And it seems I myself am a poor caretaker of that legacy. When I look back at everything I was, from my flesh to my name, it feels like I am staring at a portrait of someone else's memories. You must know, at least, that the name of this land has changed in time. It is known as Skyrim. early settlements like. I believe I may have seen such structures. Our people learned to cooperate with them, uh, just as we did with the Dovra, the dragons whom we worshipped and served. Slowly we began to establish cities. Some might dare to call it a kingdom. It encompassed a small stretch of land along the Broken Cape. But the palace sat at its center like a great jewel. As I had led one of the original settlements, and had once trained to become a dragon priest, I was chosen as queen. Hmm. Sathal. They say that Yskrimor established Sathal. On the ruins of a kingdom, our kingdom, Iskromor came as a settler and stayed as a conqueror. He was a tyrant. Thus, my reign lasted no more than a season. All that effort, all the goodwill I had established, shattered by the blade of his inglorious axe. <laughs> Why? The Needs came to Murrith to escape war, not find themselves entrenched in another. However, they are a prideful people. The massacre in Sarthal gave Iskrimor the perfect excuse to eradicate the Mur from this land. He baited the Mur into an attack on farmers, hunters, and maids. All the while, he and his sons built an army of companions in the caverns to the north. Hmm. History says that the Mur were threatened by the Needs 
sought to banish them. Is that much true? History rarely tells the whole truth. It was true that the murder attacked Sartho, but it was not for fear of our strength. They sought that which was promised to them, a great source of power, a shimmering ball of magicka encased in runes of an ancient tongue. The Mur thought it to be older than the world itself. The all-seeing eye of the great architect. The blind witness to all of creation. Magnus. The eye was the price of peace. Only when our kingdom was conquered by Ysgrimor, he deemed it too heavy a price to pay. Then came the Night of Tears, and Ysgrimor's return, when all beginnings came to an end, and all ends came for a single beginning. Hmm. I see. The Admora. You worship dragons, you say. You chained to become a priest. The dragon priests respected the Dovra for their might and power. We paid tribute to them, and in return, lived in harmony. Harmony? In Merith, no such order had been established. Without a dragon priest to conduct the rituals, it was left to me to teach my people the old ways. You can live in peace with those creatures. What cost us the worship? Hmm. I have other things to ask. Very well. Can you speak to the other Draugr? Go have met a number in my travels. Most do not seem capable other than speaking in the old tongue, in that of dragons. The Draugr know words of power, mm. but they are not lucid like you and I. They are mindless puppets, doomed to walk the earth as the undead. Some believe the Draugr are cannibals, for whom this existence is a penalty. Others believe they are thought cursed for betraying mankind. In truth, the Draugr are simply dead bones, brought to animation by the power of the Dovra, but not to life. I see. So not inhabiting a soul. Hmm. There is a phrase, often repeated by the Draugr, that I've heard a number of times. Ah, dear all. What does it mean? Join the dead. So dreary. Am I right in guessing that all these phrases are said in the heat of battle? Yes. Yes, they are. Hmm. There is one other. Bolog. Ahs. Malir. <laughs> Bologars means beg for mercy, but I cannot translate Malir. It is an insult so great that it has no words in the common tongue. Hmm. So they are shells, but they still contain some knowledge that this dragon power you speak of. Regardless, that is enough for the translations. Yes, it's a very concise language, but I much rather prefer the elegance of the common tongue. Very well. I thank you for your time, IRL. And I'm sorry for your condition. Hmm. 
my tire, as I'm sure you do. But just between you and me, I would not feel confident staying here. And there was a ruin outside. We'll camp there. Leave her be. She's a relic of a bygone age. This is her fate. Allow her to serve it. History in the past. That's a murky thing. We can only trust in the present. For us, we might succumb to madness.